Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining. I am Laura Gorios, the head of communication in Tallinn Avesi, and I welcome you all to today's Tallinn Avesi webinar. This webinar will be hosted by Alexander Timofeya, Chief Executive Officer, and Davi Grön, Chief Financial Officer. Alexander and Davi will introduce the highlights of the second quarter. The presenters will also speak about Tallinn Navesi's operational and financial results of the second quarter of the year. Alexander will also give an overview about some of the investments made in the second quarter. Right after the presentation, you will have the opportunity to ask questions. It is also possible to type in your question during the presentation, but these will be answered in the end part of the webinar. To submit your questions, please use the chat box. Now I will hand it over to Alexander. Here you go. Good morning. I'm happy to welcome you today in our webinar. I will introduce the highlights from the second quarter of the year. At the beginning of June, the annual general meeting of the company was held, where the shareholders of Tallinn Water approved to pay a dividend of 65 cents per share from the 2021 profits. The payout is equal to 80% of earnings in 2021 and was made on 29th of June. A little bit about our important project. In May, we signed a contract with Telia AST for the delivery of smart meters for our customers and the transmission of data via Telia's network. We have started with the installation of remotely readable smart meters already. I'm sure that our customers are very happy about it and expecting to get the meters as quick as possible. We are planning to replace the water meters for all our customers with smart ones by 2026 at the latest, so that the customers would no longer need to report water meter readings. In the summer, we open taps where people can drink uh, tap water. For this summer, we have opened 38 of them and for our visitors and tailors. We have provided free fresh water at 24 events, such as Harku Yarvioks, Kawamaya Päevat, Tallinna Women's Pidu, and the also in the Stereos Festival. The pipeline reconstruction strategy is uh, very important, as all our customers get our services from our pipes. We prepare pipeline rehabilitation strategy in cooperation with Tallinn University of Technology. The strategy will help us in the future to do investments in the most efficient and modern way. The public water supply and sewage development plan for the next 12 years is under preparation by Infragate in cooperation with the city of Tallinn and should be ready at the second part of the year. The development plan provides the basis for creating a company's development and investment plan for the next 12 years. In addition to that, we are preparing to go with the city of Tallinn the new administrative agreement for next years. Let's move on to the next slide and uh, speak a little bit more in details about investments. As previously, we constantly put in effort to improve our vital service. In the six months of 2022, we carried out investments projects in the amount of 7.44 million euros. During six months, we reconstructed more than 10,000 meters of our network, and the work will be continuing also in the second part of the year. Network renewals are ongoing on Yarvivana Road, Sila Street, Holde, Echte, Kotka, and Sisi Streets. In the Asnago area and Usime Road, our engineers will continue to deliver the best work to the, our customers and citizens also during the second part of the year. Of course, we invest also in our assets, in the assets that are situated at water and waste water treatment plant. We are renewing uh, filters at the water treatment plant, and uh, that's quite important to be sure that the water we treat at the water treatment plant of Yurmiste is according to all requirements that are settled by the law. Also, we are updating pumping station on the Rumu Street and improving it with a possibility for secondary coordination in Lasnama and Pirita areas. If we speak about wastewater treatment, then it is important to say 
that's where doing reconstruction works in main feed pumping station shaft and effluent shore well, which are critical parts of the waste for the treatment process. Mainly due to the fact that all the wastewater from our service area goes through these stages of the process. We are also renovating aero tanks, which are an important part of the biological treatment process in which we remove nitrogen and phosphorus. Our capital investments into the network ensure uninterrupted water and wastewater service and reliability of water supply to consumers also in the future. I would like also to speak a little bit more in details about our operational results. Uh, if we speak about the second quarter, then the results are really good. The water quality is uh, on the highest level. The quality of drinking water in Tallinn was excellent, being 100% compliant with all requirements. We took approximately 1,700 water samples from our customers during the first six months of the year, and all samples were according to the compliance. Top level tap water was ensured by an effective water treatment process, continuous preventive maintenance works in the water network and investments made in the recent years in the water pumping stations, which created post coronation facilities in different parts of the city. This enables to maintain the sanitary guarantee in the water network by maintaining high quality drinking water even with hot weather. Wastewater treatment plant is working well as well. Wastewater treated at Palyasara Waste for Treatment Plant also maintains a high level of quality, being again fully compliant with all the set requirements last year. The significant, the significant lower indicators of pollutants are the proof of excellent quality of effluent discharge to the sea. A little bit about our customers and their satisfaction. Our goal is to deliver high quality service to our customers. And in the first half of a year, our customer satisfaction was 4.3 of 5, which is a very good result. The leakage rate in the second quarter of 2022 was 14.3%, which is similar to the same period last year. In the six months of 2022, the leakage rate was 17.67%. High leakage rate was mainly caused by extraordinary weather conditions in the first months of the year. Already by the end of March, leakage rate has shown reduction. We always try to disturb our customers as little as possible and do everything to supply our customers with water. In the second quarter, the average water disruption per property that was impacted by water interruption lasted three hours and 31 minutes, which is slightly higher than in the competitive period last year. In terms of enhancing the reliability of water supply services to our customers, in the first half of the year, we have reconstructed about 10 kilometers of pipes, as was mentioned before. Now I will go give over to Tari, who will speak about financial results. Thank you, Alexander. Uh, I would like to give you the overview of the financial performance of uh, the renovation in the second of uh, 2022. Uh, first, according to the latest economic forecast uh, from uh, SD Bank, uh, the Estonian economy started the, the year started the year in a very strong position, but uh, growth was slow. The outbreak of war in February and the various impacts uh, from it overshadowed the outlook uh, for Estonian economy further. While sanctions on Russia have already led to rapid pricing rises, the broader impact on the economy is expected to become apparent in the second half of the year. Inflation is expected to be lower next year, but the price level will remain high. Inflation in Estonia has been the fastest in the euro area in recent months, mainly because of the major rise in energy prices. High energy costs will gradually be passed through into the prices of many other goods and services. Higher energy prices and inflation have a direct impact on the profit of the company. Uh, compared to the second quarter in 2021, the total sales revenues were at the same level, increasing by 0.3% uh, 
amounting to 30 million euros. The sales of water services increased by 8.1% or 0 0.9 million euros on the con and uh, construction services decreased by 55.9 or 0 0.9 million euros. The gross profit for the second quarter in 2022 was uh, 4.4 million euros, uh, which is which was lower by 15.5% or 0 0.8 million euros compared to the same period in 2021. Uh, the gross profit was mainly impacted by high cost of goods and services sold, which is partly balanced by high water services revenues. In the second quarter of 22, the operating profit was 3.1 million euros or 2.1 million euros lower than in the same period for 2021. Being mainly impacted, impacted by changes in gross profit and uh, freezing the change in provisions formed for the possible third party claims. Uh, the net profit of the company for the second quarter of 2022 was uh, 0.96 million euros or 2.1 million euros lower, being mainly impacted by changes in operating profit, eliminating the effects of provisions for possible third party claims in 2021. The group's net profit for the second quarter of 2021 would have been 1.87 million euros. 22 showing a decrease of 0 0.9 million year on year. On the next slide, I'll uh, comment on the changes in revenues, expenses, and expenses in, in more detail. The total sales revenues for the second quarter of 21 increased uh, of uh, of 22 increased by 0 0.2 percent, amounting to 13 million euros. Total revenues from water services have mentioned 8.1% increase of 0 0.9 million euros higher than in the second quarter of 21, where they amounted to 12.1 million euros. The increase in water services revenues were mainly driven by higher stormwater treatment, disposal service revenues, and commercial customers' consumption, and we were and were partly balanced by decrease in private customers' consumption. The private customs revenues in main service area decreased compared to the same period in 21 by 1.2% to 5 million euros. The commercial customer revenues in main service area increased compared to the same period in 21 by 22.7% to 4.2 million euros, driven fully by increase in consumption. The sales to commercial customers were impacted by higher consumptions of hotels and spas, rental services and shopping centers. The higher water consumption in hotels and rental services can be related to lower restrictions. Stormwater and fire hydrant service revenues from the main service area were higher by 13.5%, amounting to 1.1 million euros in the second quarter of 2022, driven mainly by higher cost per cubic meter, which was partly set back by 7% lower stormwater volumes. The revenues from construction services amounted to 0 0.7 million euros and showed a decrease of 55.9 or 0 0.9 million euros, 55.9% or 0 0.9 million euros, compared to the second quarter in 21. Accordingly, we're also down construction service costs which uh, decreased by 62.9% or 0 0.8 million euros. Despite lower revenues, construction service profit was at the same level amounting to 0 0.1 million euros because of the better margins. The decrease was mainly related to postponed procurement from public sector due to uh, uncertainty in the markets and high prices in the road construction. This now takes us to the costs. The total cost of goods sold increased by 10.9% or 0 0.85 million euros, amounting to 8.6 million euros in the second quarter of 22. Total direct production cost increased by 54.1% or 0 0.1 million euros mostly due to higher electricity costs accompanied 
by an increase in chemical costs. Ele electricity costs increased by 99.9%, mainly due to an average 96% higher electricity price. Chemicals costs increased by 17.9%, driven mainly on average 32% higher price for methanol. Construction services costs decreased by 62.9% or 0. 0. 0.5 million euros and were related to lower construction service revenues mentioned earlier. Salary costs increased by 14.2% to 2.1 million euros and were mainly affected by salary increase of every staff member according to company salary policy. Other costs uh, of goods sold increased by 29.7% to 1.8 million euros, mainly related to higher prices of fuel, heating and gas. Administrative and marketing is expenses increased by 17.1% to 1.3 million euros, driven also by higher salary costs. Other net income and expenses amounted to net expenses of 0, 0, 0.05 million euros compared to the net income of 1.06 million euros in comparative periods. 2021 Q2 net income was impacted by reversal of provisions for the possible third party claims. It takes us now to cash flows. As of uh, June 30th, 22, the company's cash uh, balance stood at uh, 23.5 million euros, forming 9.5% uh, of total assets. Compared to the end of last quarter, the cash balance has decreased by 14 million euros mainly as a result of dividend payout at the end of June. The biggest uh, contribution to the cash flows comes from main operations uh, during the six months of 22. Total operating cash flows am amounted to 8.3 million euros. The company's uh, collection of receivables continues to be uh, high, being 99.8% on average. The net cash flows uh, for investing activities during six months of 2022 resulted in a cash flow outflow of 6.1 million euros, which is 2.4 million euros less than in the same period last year. Investments into fixed assets were 7.4 million euros, and uh, compensations received for the uh, pipe con constructions were 1.2 million euros. The company's Financing cash outflows during the six months of 22 were 15 million euros, being on the same level compared to the last year, same period. And yes, with that, I include my part and thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tavi and Alexander, for the presentation. And now we will proceed with the questions. And we will give you some minutes to submit your questions. Please feel free to type in any questions you might have.
So thank you for the questions. Uh, we have a first question from Andres, and the question is, could we expect 2002 dividend payout above 80 percent and possibly above 100 uh, percent, David? Thank you for the question. Uh, the dividend policy of the company has not uh, changed, and uh, uh, it's uh, if there are any changes, it will be informed uh, to the uh, Nasdaq and also to our channels. Uh, but it remains the same, and uh, and it's uh, too early at the moment to talk about 2022 dividends. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the second and third questions are from Sander Daniel. And the first one is, please explain the major terms of the new agreement with the city. Alexander. Thank you for the question. Uh, so the, the main uh, thing is that uh, the Tallinn Water will remain the water undertaker in Tallinn and we will provide the services to our customers. Of course, the old contract uh, was uh, uh, prepared uh, almost uh, 20 years ago and uh, today the regulation is different. So the contract will be uh, relooked in the way that it is according to the modern law. And if we speak about details of the contract, then at the moment we are under negotiations and it's not, uh, I think, the right time to share any details as they are not agreed till the end with the city. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And another question from Sander Daniel. Please explain the situation in construction activities. Do you expect them to remain sluggish in the second part of the year? Thank you for the question one more time. It's quite a good question, uh, difficult to answer on that. So if we speak about the first six months, then it is visible that uh, the revenues that we got from the construction were lower. Uh, at the moment, uh, the market is active and the Watercom is participating in tenders. We also have at the moment uh, under negotiation more than 2 million euros. So we really hope that uh, in the second part of the year we can get more uh, tenders, what we can construct, and with that we could fulfill uh, our expectations. Uh, if we look into the media, then the media suggests uh, the uh, change on the construction market, but uh, we think uh, that the change uh, will be uh, more for the uh, next year. So at the moment we participate in tenders, we see opportunities and we definitely will use uh, these opportunities to fulfill the budget. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we have a question from Peter Prisal. And the question is, with the previous owner, United Utilities, Tallinn Vesi used to pay different type of management fees to United Utilities. Is this going to be the case with the new private owner as well? Alexander? Thank you for the question. Uh, uh, if we speak about uh, United Utilities, then they left uh, at the end of the first quarter 2021. And it is true that uh, there was the technical uh, fee. What the company paid to United Utilities today, we do not have such an agreement with the new owner. So we do not pay any extra fee today to Utilities, if the question was uh, about uh, bigger shareholder. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we will give you two more minutes to type in your questions.
seems like we don't have any more questions. Recording of the presentation will be available in the Tallinn Davis's YouTube channel webinar playlist shortly. Presentation materials and reports can be found on Tallinn Davis's webpage. Tavi and Alexander, thank you for the overview and thank you all for joining. Have a good day.